CBC Boxing. Yo, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, yeah? So, as usual, I was on BoxingScene.com, and it's been a lot of talk on Twitter as well. That's Twitter's usually where I like to see my boxing news and see different um, people's points of view. And I'm talking about the Ritson Vasquez fight. And obviously, we've all seen the famous photo of um, the judge, Terry O'Connor, on his phone <laughs> during the fight, which is crazy to me. But listen, I, remember I was watching the fight and it's crazy how comfortable Vasquez looked in the ring. I think even part of the fight, he was even looking at Ritson and thinking like, I mean, is this it? Is this all I have to do? He had him on his jab the whole 12 rounds, literally just had him at range. Was just fighting on his back foot, just using his jab well, using his jab well. Ritson was not moving his head at all. You know, his movement was terrible. The commentators were obviously trying to stick up for him, saying that, you know, they want to see a little bit more from Ritson. But he clearly, he's not well level, man. He's clearly not well level. He out jabbed him, he outscored him every single round. Maybe a couple of rounds, Ritson had, um, might have had the edge, if that, but. Vasquez looked very, very comfortable in the ring. I asked for you boxing fans who haven't watched it to go and watch the fight. It should be... I think Sky Sports uploaded the whole video, actually. But then, believe it or not, they went and awarded it to Ritson. You know, he scored... Um, Terry O'Connor scored in, what, 117-11, I think. Um, and then the other judge, I think, had him... Up by a few rounds, I was thinking, what is this? What boxing is that? This is why people don't aren't into boxing. What's the point? You imagine you're a gambler and you're watching a boxing fight and you're thinking, yeah, my guys won, and then the, the judges market the other guy. You're going to be thinking, nah. And Eddie Home made a great point. I, I was listening to an uh, IFL TV interview with Eddie Hearn. I think it was the, maybe the day on the Sunday, the day after the, the actual fight. And he was saying that's why people get turned away from the sport of boxing, man. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's predominantly known to be corrupt. You know, you go back to the early 80s. Like, you know, a lot of things happen behind the scenes that I'm sure they won't want you to know about now. But Terry O'Connor was famously seen on his phone um, during the fight. Who knows who he was texting? Who knows if he was even watching the fight? Because the way he judged the score, you know what I mean? It, you'd be thinking... Bro, you didn't watch the fight. I hope he gets a suspension for this because this is dangerous. People are risking their lives in the ring, you know what I'm saying? People are risking their lives and then you are going ahead and misjudging it. And then when, as soon as I saw it, it reminded me of that CJ Ross incident with Floyd Mayweather. Remember when Mayweather outboxed Canelo pretty much and then she judged it 114-114? Listen, I will never forget that. But listen, judges and boxing, man, they might, I don't know what they're going to do if they have to change the structure, but this isn't the first time in boxing this has happened, you know what I'm saying, boxers are going in risking their lives and the judges aren't even watching the fight properly, not even judging the score, trying to kill the boxers out there, but that's just my take on it, just a quick one to get out there, man, boxing and judges, do they need to change the whole marking criteria, <laughs> I'm not sure, CBC, I'm out.